You want to finish the Bodhisattva got mad at the Bodhisattva t discussion? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're on Lopen Denyi. Okay, good. Lopen Denyi ki yuten la selka madzekyang. Okay, those two acharyas, okay, those two masters who are Master Shura and Master Shantideva. Okay, those two. Shura means Pao, and then uh, wa warrior, and then uh, Shantideva. They said uh, you lose a thousand eons of good karma if you get mad at a per at anybody. Okay, somebody. Then Jetsokapa wants more information. He says, "What are they talking about?" Lopen de niki yul ten la selka maze. Say you ten. You? Zero. Ten. This is a very unusual use of these two common words, okay? You means like object or country, and ten means support. Yeah, exactly. But in Vinaya, it has a special meaning. Uh, it means the person to whom you give the vow and the master who gives the vow are called you and ten, okay? So he's playing with that usage. Here it means uh, the person that you got mad at, and the person, the maddie and the madder, okay? The person who got angry and the person they got angry at. Yule is which one? Yeah, the person they got mad at. So ten must be the person who got mad. Okay, so he's, he's playing, if you don't know Vinaya language, you, you, you don't understand what he's saying, okay? Yul ten selka, we should put that in the dictionary, Adam. Kao sala selka. Selka me means. Sel means what? Like uzel. Like clear. clear. Okay, the clear. Sel means clear. Selka me means it's not exactly clear. It's an idiom that means it's not exactly clear. Okay, so what's he saying? Yeah, it's not clear in Shantideva and it's not clear in Shura. Uh, if the person getting mad is a bodhisattva or the person they're getting mad at is a bodhisattva, it's not clear. So come me. Ma ze kyang, kyopa gyam tondisapa getsa jombe kontro yulani, but I'll tell you, if you're going to lose a hundred or a thousand eons of good karma because you got mad at them, the person you got mad at should be a bodhisattva. Okay? That's whose opinion? Jetson copies. Come on. You know, if, if you're going to lose a hundred million years of good deeds or a hundred thousand million years of good, billion, then come on, it's got to be a bodhisattva, the person you're getting mad at. <coughs> Master Shantideva doesn't say it directly. Neither did Lopen Pao, but it, it must be, he says, okay? Trawai teni changsem dangni chambo she sumbala pakna yilki changsem la changsem to chewa chik dao there are statements that say that, which we already covered, that say that the person who has the anger should be not only a bodhisattva, but a high bodhisattva, okay? The person who has the anger, if you're going to lose a thousand eons of good karma, or a hundred eons of good karma, they should be a pretty powerful bodhisattva. De la pakna, okay, de la pakna, pakna, you know, je paktsema? Yeah, deduction. So de la pakna means, you know, extrapolating from that, <coughs> making a deduction from that, then the person they get mad at should also be a powerful bodhisattva, not just a normal bodhisattva, a powerful bodhisattva. Here it says chang sem top che. What's top shi? Yeah, the four powers. So top che here means the person that, who's getting angry should be powerful, bodhisattva, and the person they get angry at should be a powerful bodhisattva for there to be such a collision of the Titanic and the iceberg that you lose a thousand eons of good karma. Okay? De la choi teni changsem sokyar ngela yulani sa top ma top ni suyete. Now, this is Jetson Kappa also. The person who gets the anger, 
Chowe Den, okay, the Den, the person who got angry, that Bodhisattva is definitely Ngepa or a Soke, Sosokewo. A person who has not seen emptiness directly. Okay? Sosokewo means norm, normal person in the sense of not special. Okay? Has not seen Pratak Jana in <coughs> Sanskrit. They have, they are, okay? If the Bodhisattva is getting mad, this kind of anger, they, they are powerful Bodhisattva, but they didn't see emptiness yet. Okay? So, what did we learn? If you're a bodhisattva, have you necessarily seen emptiness directly? No, okay? So even from that sentence, you can learn something important in Buddhism, okay? You can be a person who has great compassion, who is dedicated to become a Buddha to help the whole world, and it's not necessary that you saw emptiness, okay? okay. Is it true that all people who saw emptiness directly are bodhisattva? We say no. Okay? No. Like a, a very intelligent scientist who, who, who doesn't really care about saving the world can, can understand that, that things are coming from them. Okay? People who understand Heisenberg and certainty principles. If you study it carefully, certain atomic physicists have, have come close to emptiness. Okay? But they have no intention of like, saving the world with it. Okay? Okay. So, ma kaba each way. What's it mean? If you're a bodhisattva, it doesn't necessarily mean you saw emptiness. If you saw emptiness, it's not necessarily true that you're a bodhisattva. Is it necessarily true that if you're a bodhisattva on the first bodhisattva level, that you saw emptiness? Yes. Yeah, good. Okay, got it? Is there anybody on any of the ten bodhisattva levels who didn't see emptiness directly? No. Okay, great. Wow, you guys are good. <laughs> If you reach nirvana, have you seen emptiness directly? Yes. Must be. Must be. Must be. Cannot reach nirvana. Yeah. Okay. Must be. Yeah. If you reach nirvana, did you reach Buddhahood? No. Good. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Can you be on the Bodhisattva track and not see emptiness directly? Yes. Yeah. Okay, on the first two paths. Okay, we're going to talk about it with Kamala Shila. Okay, Yulani sot top ma top ni su yute. So as far as the person getting angry, they are without question not someone who saw emptiness directly. Okay, if they're going to lose that much karma. Okay, but what do you think about the object that they get angry at? The bodhisattva they get angry at. He says, ni su yute. Two, two different options. What, what, what do you guess? They could be an Arya, or they could not be an Arya. Okay? They could be someone who saw emptiness directly, or maybe they didn't see emptiness directly. The person they got angry at. Okay? Okay. They dana chan sem tob chewa chewe chingwa la dang chingwe chewa la dang yo dang ten tob nyambe nyambala trupa sumo. Therefore, there are three options. Okay, therefore there are three options. In general, we're not talking a hundred eons or a thousand eons. In general, there's three options. Number one, a bodhisattva who's stronger is the one who got angry is stronger than the bodhisattva that they got angry at. Okay, that's first option. Second option, the bodhisattva who got angry is not as strong as the bodhisattva that they got angry at. Second option. What's the third option? Equal strength, okay? Equal realizations, okay? Two, three options. Te Dambalani Kalpa Gya Yinla. Which of those three do you guess is the one who loses a hundred eons of good karma? I'm sorry, let me say it again. One of the three loses a hundred. One of the three loses a thousand. So which one loses a hundred? The person getting, the Bodhisattva getting angry is more powerful. Okay? And the Bodhisattva they're angry at is less powerful. Th that Bodhisattva loses a hundred eons. Okay? 
If a less powerful Bodhisattva gets mad at a more powerful Bodhisattva, they lose a thousand. Okay? That's how Jason Kappa explains the difference. Okay? What happens if they're equal? Oh, okay. He says, Kavatong the Nun. Okay? Maungan or Nun na Nun. Okay? You know Nun because it needs Abhi, like in Abhi, Abhi Dharma, okay? Or Abhijnya, uh, clairvoyance, okay? But here, Jetson Kappa uses it as evident. It is evident. It is obvious, okay? What's that mean? What, when he says it's obvious that when there's a hundred eons lost, it's a more powerful bodhisattva getting mad at a less powerful bodhisattva. And when there's a thousand eons getting lost, it must be a less powerful bodhisattva getting mad at a more powerful bodhisattva. It's obvious. What, what's he mean? He's deducing. He wants to alert you that this is his opinion. Okay? It, it's apparent. Okay? He says it's apparent. When Jetson Kappa says apparent, he means that's my opinion. Okay? You can say it seems clear. You see what I mean? When you say that, it, it means you're not sure. It seems clear that the person who stole the cookies out of the tin was Geshe Michael. When you say seems clear, it means you're kind of letting people know that it's your own estimation of the situation. Okay? And that's how Tsongkhapa warns his readers that this is his opinion. Okay? He's careful to say, this is my opinion. Uh, what happens in the, in the... Let me check this out. Uh, so when you say good karma is destroyed then, it could refer to the second or third combinations. And even within the second combination, it depends on the relative power of the two people, he says. Then he says, uh, if you really want to figure out how much karma you're going to lose, lung la tene chepa chao. Okay, lung, what's lung? Lung here means scripture. Okay? Like when you give a lung or something. Okay? So lung la ten, you should use scripture. Chepa chao. This is when a high lama wants to say, uh, it's debatable. They say, you should check. Chepa cha. It, it, it's something that people have to figure out. Okay? When Jetson Kappa says it, you're, you're, you're hope, it's hopeless. <laughs> When he says it's something we have to figure out, he means, you know, if, if later on people have access to more scriptures, maybe you can get more detail, but this is what I know. Chepa John means, you know, if, if, if someone comes across more scriptures, if John Brady goes to Mongolia and finds more scriptures, maybe we will have a better decision. But based on what we have, uh, this is what it is, okay? Tongsung Kishepa ni Mepa Mingyurwe Mingyurwe Parkini Chansa ki Chansa Mimbala Yiki Trene Naki Shewa na Nuki Dekpa Temba. Remember before we had this thing about uh, you go to a billion planets and you beat everybody up? <laughs> and it doesn't damage the Bodhisattva. But if the Bodhisattva gets mad at another Bodhisattva or something, then there's damage done and they have to put their armor back on. Okay, he wants to go into that. He wants to explain that. So up above when they said, uh, any particular Bodhisattva, there will be damage to the Bodhisattva, he's talking about a Bodhisattva who gets angry in their mind at someone who is not yet a Bodhisattva and says bad things to them and beats them up when they go to the planets, when they go to other planets, a billion planets, okay? He's talking about Bodhisattva beating up all the non-Bodhisattvas on a billion planets, okay? It would not damage the Bodhisattva, 
Okay. So what does damage mean? Okay. Uh, so he's trying to just draw a distinction between a bodhisattva who gets in a little bit of trouble and a bodhisattva who gets in a lot of trouble. Okay. So the bodhisattva who gets in a little bit of trouble is hurt. Just beating up a billion people. And then the bodhisattva who gets angry, uh, okay, they do damage to another bodhisattva. They get damage. And then they have to put on their armor again. So he wants to go into that. He wants to explain what that means. It's important. Uh, it will make your life a lot easier. You will understand more when we cover this, okay? We'll try to finish tonight. Chang sem ki, chang sem da yang lung lak de ma tumba yi ki dongat sam ke pana. When a bodhisattva gets angry in their heart at a bodhisattva, but doesn't say anything and doesn't do anything, okay? Just in their heart, they are angry at the other bodhisattva. Just that, tam, just that, kepana. Semde ke tangi jitsamba. However many, however many moments of anger come up in their heart, that many eons they lose, sorry, that many eons they must put on their armor again. Okay? So we want to know what, what do you mean when you say they have to put on their armor? Okay? Bodhisattvas can beat up all the people in a billion worlds. It doesn't damage the Bodhisattva so much. One Bodhisattva gets angry at another Bodhisattva, for one second, every moment, they lose a hundred eons of good karma. Why? Sorry, they have to spend another eon for every moment they're angry putting on their armor. So, what does it mean? Okay. <laughs> oh boy, gosh. He's going to go off on another thing. I'm sorry, it's late. Maybe we should do this tomorrow? I don't know. We might die tonight. <laughs> he says, it's apparent. What's that mean? Okay, this is my opinion. It's apparent that the person that you're getting ang angered toward is a bodhisattva who has not attained their confirmation. Okay, so I don't know. When I was a kid in the Christian church, when you're 16 years old, when you're a baby, you get water on your head and you become a Christian. You don't have to do anything. You just cry. <laughs> and then, uh, but when you reach like 16, uh, you have to study the teaching of the church. Then there's a ceremony. If you pass the examination, there's a ceremony. And then you, it's called confirm. Like, okay, we certify you're a real Christian. Okay? Now you're old enough, you understand the ideas. So it's called confirmation. We have in Buddhism also. It's called Lung Temba. What's it mean? Do you know? Yeah, it means you have enough good karma by now that if a Buddha walked in here, they could say, December 3rd, 2024. You're Buddha. <laughs> okay? Like, you reached enough good karma that Buddha can look inside of you and, and it's funny, they usually do it by putting their foot on your head, but we won't do that. <laughs> okay? Uh, they put your foot on your head or something like that, okay? And they look in your karma, they look at your karma and they say, okay, December 3rd, uh, 2024. They, they can give you a date. Some people, most people are not good enough yet to get that confirmation. They say, tell me when I become a Buddha. Buddha goes, uh, still not clear. <laughs> like, you know, maybe you're going to mess up next year, maybe not. I, don't, I can't tell yet. Okay, okay. So that means confirmation. Here it says the person who you're angry at is not confirmed yet, but the Bodhisattva feeling the anger, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the Bodhisattva you're angry at did get confirmed but the Bodhisattva who's angry did not get confirmed yet, okay? Then he goes off on some Prajna Bolo Bolo, 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 Bolo Mido Sutra, okay? To prove it. Sorry. Okay, this is not too long. 
Nung then Matov Chanju Samba Kashiki, a Bodhisattva who is not confirmed yet, Nung then Tobala Semtra gets angry at a Bodhisattva who does have their date fixed already. Okay? What do you call it there? They call that in uh, coming out the the girl wears a gown and yeah debutante they didn't get their debutante date. Nung ten tobala semcha if they get angry okay if the bodhisattva who doesn't have their date yet gets angry at a bodhisattva who does have their date semcha tsamchena tava kyudan sengi kechik jinepa however many moments of anger they feel. They will have to do one eon of new armor. So it's getting interesting. What does the armor mean? Okay. What does the armor mean? Okay. We don't know. He's going to tell us. Shine gocha go go pa shine say shine say shine 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 what's shine. Shamatha, good, okay. Shine is almost spelled the same. The second syllable is low tone, okay? That's the only difference. Shamatha is shine. And shine means finally, okay? So like you ask your attendant for an orange juice in the morning, and it, it comes in the afternoon. <laughs> and uh, you say, Shine. Ah, oh, yeah, finally. <laughs> okay, Shine. That did not happen to me. I'm just, it's just an example. <laughs> I got it like 10 seconds later. I got a whole bowl full. Okay. Uh, okay. So, Shine means, then they're going to, here it means they're going to have to start over again. Okay. Shine means they're going to have to start over again with their armor. So, what's that mean? Perna Changsengi Solan Chambone, Nyapur Jorlam to Po Tupa Chiki. If a certain Bodhisattva was at the last stages of the first of the five paths, okay? Collection, right? If they were at the last pages of stages of the first of the five paths, and they were about to reach the second stage, what happens at the second stage? What happens at the first stage? You have a good Disaster in your life, okay? It makes you spiritual, okay? Disasters are very good, okay? That's the first, we're going to talk about it in Kamala Shila. The first of the five paths, okay, is uh, you have a big problem in your life, you become spiritual. Your mother dies in your arms, you know? Your brother shoots himself in the head, okay? Then suddenly you're like, oh, life is different than I thought. It's not just rock and roll. Okay? That's the first path. Then, and then the second path, some, basically in the second path, somebody explains to you the pen. Okay? When you get far enough in the second path, you cannot, you cannot go to a lower realm after you die. So don't complain. When I explain the pen, there was some French guy in Singapore. I don't know his name. He irritated me. I said, why are you always talking about this pen? Every time you come to Singapore, you talk about this pen. <laughs> you know? I'm like, I'm trying to keep you out of the hell realms, okay? Shine, <laughs> Kochak, <laughs> sometimes Lama does something, you don't know why. Maybe they know something. Okay. Shine, Kochak, go, go, Pani. So, what does it mean they have to. So this, body, this person, this Bodhisattva, was ready to go from path one to path two. Very soon, very soon. But he got angry at another Bodhisattva. Okay, becoming clearer now. Okay. Tupa, po tupa. Poa, you know poa, right? Move your consciousness after death. But it means, it literally means graduate. They were ready to go up from path one. One to path two. They were, in the next few days, they were going to go from path one to path two. But, Lungten Topala Tune, he got mad at his Bodhisattva who had their date already from the Buddha. They already got their date fixed, okay? He got mad. So, Jetsokapa is pulling from different sutras to give us a clear answer. It's hard, but it's clear. Okay? 
If you give up because it's hard, I can't help you. You shouldn't come to these classes, okay? You want something easy, go somewhere else, okay? It's hard, but it's true, okay? That other bodhisattva has to be one who is so far ahead that Buddha, Buddha or some lama gave them their date already, okay? Who can see the future, okay? Chambula Nyurabhad Tobutana Tobula Tuna Trosemki Changdeng Yeki Kalpar for as many instances of anger they have. Now he doesn't say moment, he says instances of anger, okay? Maybe it means you have, and we debate that in the monastery, but it means sustained anger. Like, not just like, I hate you. It's got to be like for a couple hours or something, okay? Like, you're really angry for a couple hours. It has to be sustained anger. Uh, as many instances of sustained anger they have, you know, like, Strong anger, they don't give it up for a couple hours or something like that. Trung sam ki kyalpa, jolam tu po mi nupar. They will not be able to move to the second path. For that many eons. Okay? Okay? Somebody was asking me, well, Geshla, if you can't destroy bad seeds, how can you destroy good seeds? This is more clear. Did he destroy his bad se good seeds? No, he just delayed his life for about a hundred million years. Okay, understand? Yeah. Understand? Okay. He delayed his progress. Okay. And, and probably he will never know why. Okay. Probably he won't know why for a long time. Okay. Uh, he won't be able to go up. You know, only after a long time he has to keep practicing the same old path for a really long time to go somewhere he was supposed to go next week. Okay? He was supposed to move up next week to the second path. He got angry at a, at a heavy bodhisattva. And then he just delayed his career for 100 million eons. What does it mean to put on your armor? He's going to have to go back over again and do that do do a hundred million years of work over again. That's what it means to put on your armor, okay? It means he has to start all over again, okay? He goes back to, in English we say, go back to square one. He has to go back to the beginning and start over again. He walked for a million miles. He got angry for five minutes. He, they took him in a helicopter <laughs> back to the beginning and said, start again. Really, it's worse than that. Okay, understand? So, that's the real meaning of destroy your karma, here. That's one of the important meanings, okay? It, you have to go back to the beginning, okay? You okay? How many pages? Oh, we're almost to the end. We're almost finished with Jetson Kappa. I have 13 minutes, I'm using it. Okay. De la chinjugle, kaoshi din de gyal se din na la, kyal te ngen sam ke pa che pa de, ngen sam ke pe chang shin kyal pa ni nyawa ne pa gyur she tu pe sum. Master Shanti Deva says, the Buddha said, if you get angry at a bodhisattva who is, who is being very generous, okay, in their life, uh, then for every instance of anger you have or hatred towards them for that many eons, millions of years, you must stay in the nyawa, hell realms. Okay? Now the game has changed. Okay? Now, Jason Kapp is not satisfied. He keeps throwing more things into it. You know? It's very Tsongkhapa. You can spend a cup. I'm going to give you the printout tonight, the translation. Spend some time with it. You will, you will discover deeper and deeper things. That's how Tsongkhapa is, okay? He's not finished yet. So what's, what's Master Shanti Deva talking about? He's not talking about going back to the first path and taking a million years to get to the second path when you were supposed to go there in one week. Okay? Now he's talking about hell realms. What's that all about? Okay. Uh, 
Kappa Mamba Sapa Geza Jombe Nyeme Kyang Yula, of course you're going to destroy a lot of your good karma, but also, Lung Den Topala Matope, if a person who hasn't got their confirmation gets angry at a Bodhisattva who did get their confirmation, turn on Nyawa Nepa Shema Tabadandala, Denyeki Kyapa Shine. To have to go back to the beginning is as bad as going to hell. Okay. Okay. And then you've got to start over again. Okay. Dang Ni. He says, actually, you could say both. <laughs> they go to hell and they delay. Okay. That's depressing. Okay. Number Tapa Dubale. He's going to go to another sutra. Okay. He's going to go to another sutra. It's called. Uh, all things in the universe crushed into dust. All things in the universe crushed into dust. With what? Your wisdom. You, you understand them, everything. Okay, got it? It's a sutra. It's the name of a sutra. Number top of Dupala Sumbe Chupong Chung We Lo Dunki Padu Nin Chik Ching Tu Sum Du Nepa Shakna Namin Takyang. Mm. Okay, good. Uh, that sutra says uh, there's a bad karma called giving up the Dharma. Okay, and I've you've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. Some people have a bad time in a Dharma group, and then they just give it up. They say that's now. I decided that was stupid. All that Dharma stuff is stupid because someone told me I didn't have a nice dress on. They, they always have some excuse like that. Okay? I decided I don't like this group anymore. Or I decided that's a stupid teaching. Okay? What's the karma of that? What's the karma of that? Okay? Lo dungi padu nin chik ching tu sum du nyepa shakna. If you change your mind later, and for seven years, you confess that negative karma three times a day. Okay? Who said that? Buddha. Buddha. This is a sutra. Okay? This is not some kappa. This is a sutra. Buddha said, if you, if you reject the dharma, you say, I don't like that dharma anymore. I don't like this tea. I don't like it. You know? Then for seven years, you change your mind. You say, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Then for seven years, Every single day, in the morning, and at noon, and in the evening, you confess. Okay, I made a mistake. Okay, what happens? You can clean the karma to come. You can clean the result. You can. You can clean it. There's a kang there. But, that person cannot reach the stage called kshanti, supa, patience in the second path. They cannot reach that for 10 million years. Okay? That kishanti, patience, ma we call mastery, that's the one where you don't have to go to the hell anymore. You don't have to be animal, you don't have to be hungry ghost, you don't have to be. That's, that's the level inside the pen level that you have to reach. Okay? So, there's certain kind of bad karmas you can do and if you work really hard with the four powers, you can clean them. You don't have to go to the hells, anything like that. But, there's a second result, is a delay. Ten million years. You, you, can't, you will not hear anyone explain the pen. You will go to the bathroom when Geshe Michael explains the pen. You will walk in, back into the room when he just finished. <laughs> no, really, it happens. Okay? It happens this week. You know, people, I got to go somewhere and get, uh, I have some stupid job. I have, you know, you know, yeah. What you missed, uh, uh, come on, okay. Go dumene shagdam chena lam bu du son wa sorma chukyang. Name nyo wa tapa gyurwe be pa jao. So, so Jetson Kappa says, and now we're finished, okay? So should we bother confessing? Should we bother with four powers? Yes or no? Yeah. Why? You don't have to go to the health. Okay. 
Will it fix the delay? He says, no, you can't fix it. Okay? It doesn't matter how many times you confess, you cannot fix it. You, 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 you will always be, you know, in the bathroom when Geshe Lab gets to the pen. Okay? You will have this karma. Okay? You'll always walk back in when he's asking for money again. 